Let's get the latest on a new advisory now in from the National Hurricane Center. Not a lot of change, but that does say everything about what everyone should be doing right now. Because the storm has not significantly changed in wind speed or intensity, when you look at the pressure change here, not a big deal. North winds uh, at air, you're moving north right now at eight miles an hour. You see just barely one millibar in pressure change, went up one millibar. Very um, insignificant uh, change here. And so it basically says we are on cue. Some of these mandatory evacuations now going into effect at 3 a.m. for Pasco County in Florida. Residents in Zone A are going to have to get out. People who reside in any manufactured homes, mobile homes, RVs must evacuate. Residents in B and C are being asked to evacuate, meaning they still got the choice. Those currently are voluntarily in the B and, Z, B and C zone. But a state of emergency in effect for 46 counties. Governor Ron, Ron DeSantis spoke last hour saying Floridians need to prepare now. As of 0800 uh, today, 90 miles south of Cuba, uh, tropical storm Idalia continues to gather strength. It will become a hurricane today, uh, and it is forecast to reach landfall as a major hurricane uh, category three. So please prepare accordingly. The National Hurricane Center currently has hurricane watches in effect for the Gulf Coast from Sarasota County all the way up to Franklin County in northwestern Florida. And so with the 11 a.m. update here coming in from the National Hurricane Center East Coast time, we now look at those watches changed to warnings, a hurricane warning in effect for portions of the west coast of Florida. Let's dive into that. We also know a storm surge warning has been issued from Inglewood northward. Um, this is going to include Tampa Bay. Um, Stephen, when you look at the change, uh, very insignificant with the millibar, basically this tells me we're on cue, which is why yeah. they put the warnings out. Yeah, and the, uh, the expected time frame is dwindling as far as when we're going to feel these in impacts. Hurricane force winds expected Tampa Bay now under a hurricane warnings. In addition, as Amy mentioned to those storm surge warnings, the overall path that we have, uh, I believe that this is uh, the newest path. It remains mostly unchanged. We're still expecting a major category three hurricane to make landfall somewhere along what's called the nature coast or the sun coast just to the south in Tampa. That expected to happen into the early morning hours of Wednesday, late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Tomorrow we'll be dealing with a hurricane. I know right now we haven't seen much. That's no surprise. This has still been outpacing the expectation. Tropical storm status has already been reached, and then we're going to watch as things go downhill for that western Florida coastline. I think to see those evacuation orders right now, as you had mentioned, Amy, in Pasco County of note, there is confidence that's increasing that we're going to have some landfall right along the Big Bend and uh, Tampa still included in that. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.